This is GabNet, the Great American Broadcast Network, now in its eighth year of talk like you've never heard it before. Hey everybody, this is Alex and this is the Ramble and we go until midnight tonight. And a happy Wednesday to you as we start another couple of days of programming here of uh, the Ramble on uh, GabNet. We have a Monday show called The Pop-Up, and I, uh, we're on for four days a week one way or another. And uh, we just want to say hello to you. How are you? I'm trying to wake up tonight. That's why I'm drinking the coffee. Then I drink the coffee, and then I can't go to sleep. So, you know, it's, uh, mm, I live a rough life, okay? Anyway. Uh, it's time, you know. Once every week, we uh, we uh, we uh, it, it, we kind of allow uh, uh, Phil Meyer on the program. Uh, and uh, let me see here. Let me get him here. Is is that you? Are you there? I am here. Yes. Uh, and uh, um, much like uh, Facebook has allowed Trump back on Facebook, we've allowed. Uh, Phil back on this program. So oh, I didn't know I was off. <laughs> oh, now, now you're you're at the edge of your screen. See how your screen is? You moved your camera, and now you aren't uh, completely covered by your green screen. Oh, okay. You see, uh, if you move over, see you gotta see because if I do it here, I I always when I before I go on, I check my. Well, I I oh, did. Oh, I just move your camera. Good. Well, you can do it that way too. You know. Yeah. Yeah, some, something moved. No, your camera moved. You touched yeah, your camera yeah. and it moved and it changed its... Uh, its yeah, it changed yeah. its position. Yeah, yeah. So anyway. How you doing? No, I'm tired. I'm tired tonight. I don't know why. I've been I've been tired the last couple of days. It's, it's, it's kind of the weather. I think it's kind of getting to me, you know? Are you getting enough iron? And is your dog getting enough cheese? Wait a minute. Why does it say Will Durst? I, I took that off of there. It oh, should, I, you, I, I've oh, got you yeah. as Will Durst, okay? Well, you know, See, something I, always goes wrong on Monday because I did an interview with Durst the other day. And, well, that, uh, that's great. I'm, I'm glad you did. You, you know, and uh, let me just put Meyer in here, and then we can change that. Here we go, folks. Ah, you see how easy that is? Yeah. Um, do you want to let some out of the bag, or uh, do well, you want to save it for the interview? How, how is Will Durst doing? Uh, Will's, you know, I, I, it, so-so. So so, yeah. you know. I mean, he's got a problem with uh, with uh, Medicare, uh, and uh, it, it's 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 just you know like they only will give him so much uh, therapy a year, and he yeah. used up all his therapy, and so he can't have therapy until February again. So. Well, I uh, I don't know uh, how I'm going to do it. I have a torn meniscus. Oh, I have one. I had one. Pardon me. I had one. Oh yeah, and and it hurts. Yeah. Uh, uh, it, it's not causing. It's not get, getting in the joint, but uh, you know it's swollen. Okay, it's two th two things you got to do. Number yeah. one, uh, make sure you don't put a lot of stress on that. I used to find that when I got into bed, I went down on this knee, and every time I did, man, I just threw the meniscus out again. And uh, I I got it by lying down. I'm sitting on the floor. And then I, I guess I twisted my leg wrong, and all of a sudden, and so I went to a th physical therapist who worked out stuff with me. But ultimately, this took care of it for me. Really, Voltaren. Vol Voltaren, the thing they advertise on TV. Yeah, put Voltaren on there, and it'll help a great deal. You know? Okay, I, yeah. I've used Tiger Bomb, uh, uh, some patches. Uh, uh, we don't and, need uh, no stinking rotten patches. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, but um, no, just try uh, try this. This is I'll tell you what happened. This this was used to be prescription when I first had my torn uh -huh. meniscus, but I had a, a doctor uh, who uh, uh, they sent me over to their doctor at this place, a, a yeah. physical therapist, and they said you should use this stuff. 
right here. Okay, so, I'll, I'll I'll get some. You know, and uh, now it's pre- it's not prescription anymore. It's so no, over I, the I counter. I understand. Yeah. Well, even if it was, all I have to do is walk into a CVS, take it, and leave. You know. And if you go to Costco, they got these big, huge tubes of it. Two, oh, okay. two, two of them plus a little tinier one to use. So, you know, well, I, I, I use it for my arthritis, and uh, but I don't. The torn meniscus, if you just you're just careful about it, will I think in my case it repaired itself. Yeah. Well, I, or, I, I believe it can repair itself because it's the medial meniscus, which is the one on the inside. And that one can be repaired through That was what mine therapy. was. Yeah, mine was, was remedial. Yeah. 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 And uh I can't remember what kind of exercises he had me do. That that uh, I can't they, remember. So Well, they they supposedly do them that strengthen your tuchus, uh your quad and your uh hamstring. Yeah, well if you got insurance, just go do some physical therapy. That'll help it. Yeah. Well yeah. I got Kaiser. Yeah. Uh, well uh, forget that then. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like like Larry Bowles Brown used to say, uh, Kaiser, it's uh, uh, doctor uh, uh, assisted uh, doctor suicide. assisted suicide. Yeah, yeah. So. Well, uh, talk, talking about, uh, oh, I, I don't know, talking about suicide. Yeah. Uh, did you hear about that um, uh, meteor meteorologist in New York uh, who works for Fox News, Adam Klotz? Uh, he was coming home from the football game, I guess, on Saturday. Mm. Uh, at, was it uh, Saturday or Sunday? And uh, he's on the subway at one thirty in the morning. And there was... Uh, That's not uh, a good idea, but go ahead. No, it, it wasn't. But there were other people on the car. A lot of people were coming home because of the uh, football game. They yeah. went out to the okay. bars. And so they, it's and kind of safe it. when you're after a game. It's pretty safe. Yeah. yeah. Well, what happened was there was like uh, several... 15 16 year olds and they were hassling some old man and they actually uh took a bic lighter and they tried to set his hair on fire so this meteorologist this young guy uh he says to these guys leave him alone and they turned on him and they kicked him down and beat him and bruised his chest and his leg and his eyes uh, I, I saw him uh, on Monday uh, on the uh, uh, you know the the sofa. They interviewed him, and I guess he had made the front page of the uh, New York Post. Is it? Yeah. The you know uh, just just for and just for saying hey, leave that guy alone, and, and that's what happened. Mm. Well, he was from Fox, so I'm no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, no, that's ter- that's terrible. But you know, uh, that could have happened in any city in the United States. Uh, the, the subways are not a good place to go late at night. You know, I don't even I don't even use them anyway, because of the because COVID's back. You know. Oh. So. Yeah. Well, COVID will never leave us. You know? Yeah, but it's 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 come back with a vengeance lately. So yeah, one is it one that new RSV or whatever it is. I have or? no idea. You know, I have yeah. no idea. I'm sure Alan will tell us. <laughs> I'm sure he will. You know, yeah, but so, I mean, that, that's uh, sad when that happens. Something like that happens. You know, but yeah, you know. But. I, I was also uh, watching some YouTube thing, and they were talking about what happens after a person dies. And it's not so much to the person, but what happens to his friends and relatives uh, afterwards. And, you know, they they start, they get back to their normal life uh, within a couple of, you know, they're they're sad, you know, the the day or two. But Mm -hmm. within a few weeks, they kind of just get on with life. Of course. Why not? Yeah. My father used to say for me, when I'm gone, if you want to mourn a couple of days, but then get on with your life because life is for the living. Yeah. You know, and and, uh, some people are obsessed by the death of it doesn't even have to be a a tragic death just by the death of somebody like a parent. And then they just mourn it for years, you know, and that that's not what that parent would have wanted. And that's not what life is about. You know, part of life is dying. I mean, I hate yeah. to be that philosophical about it, because every morning I wake up with a great fear of death. You know, well, I mean, if I, you I, wake I, up, you 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 beat it. <laughs> yeah, I beat you know? it that day, but yeah. you know, I'm wondering what's going to get me now. You know, I mean, something's going to get me. 
And I'm facing the time of my life where, where that's a possibility, and I have no idea what goes on after death. And uh, yes, I know there's a God. Okay, fine. Uh, you okay. know, have you ever talked to anybody that died and came back? Uh, every comedian who ever went on stage. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Have uh, I ever talked uh, to anybody who died and came back? No, not really. You know, there, there's no there's no proof. I would say that enough people have died and haven't reconnected with the living that there is no afterlife. Listen, I have, you know, I, when I think about it, you know, and I think about this a lot, and I look back on my life, and I say, it's like the whole, my whole life is like a dream. You know, I mean, it's gone on. Here I am now, I'm 83. And it just, you know, I had all these things that happened in my life, but I, it's kind of almost like maybe it didn't happen. Maybe this is some kind of weird existence that you, I mean, I don't, I really don't know, you know? Yeah. And, and, uh, or you're thinking from a, like another dimension kind of thing or I'm thinking that, you know, the life that I've led is a life that I've led, but it, it just seems very strange to me that it even happened. You know, I mean, uh, uh, there was something here before I was born. Right. And there's going to be something here after I die. And when I think about what was like before I was born, I have no idea. I wasn't alive at that time. But all of, a sudden, see... all of a sudden, I'm alive. I mean, maybe, maybe I came from somewhere else. You know, yeah. I don't well, know. You know, you, you look at the news reports. I know, you know, some of the events that happened prior to my birth, mm -hmm. and I just don't know the ones that are going to happen after, <laughs> you know? Yeah, but maybe, I mean, could it well, well be that when you die, this whole world dies with you? Well, it does for us. You know, but it dies with you. And, uh, you know, that it, it no longer exists after we it, die. Yeah, for from our perspective yeah but it no longer exists and and uh who knows you know i mean i just don't understand it totally i i i don't know what to expect i i expect that there could be some surprises you know having to do with i mean if i believe in the science that is out there there are many dimensions you know yeah. and and do we continue to exist in those other dimensions and am I even aware that I'm in those other demands? It's it's all forget it. I don't want to get into. Well, it. You, you know, uh, they you're recently, going to depress me. Yeah, they recently yeah. picked up radio waves that came from a very distant place. Where did you hear that uh, no. the news report? No. No. Yeah, there was there was some sort of radio wave that they think uh, had to be generated by uh, some sort of being in in a in a very far uh, outer space. I never yeah. heard that story. Never heard no? that. Okay. Yeah. yeah, it was uh, last week. Uh, I didn't write it down. You probably heard it on Fox. No, yeah. actually, <laughs> actually, I didn't. Uh, but uh, it was uh, it was interesting that you know they're they're picking up radio waves from another galaxy, and they they said that it was uh, you know uh, you know far out there. So you know you ask yourself, well, how are we? just the people on this planet and that there are that there isn't life anywhere well there else. is there are two ways of thinking about it i agree with you it's pretty impossible to think that we're the only life that we're the only uh, life in the universe okay that's probably a very far out theory that we're the only life in the universe but could it well be that this is in nature a test planet to see what will happen if life it, it is created on one of these billions of planets that are out there and and then see what it does and that we have uh, we have a rather important mission here well, and we're not living and we're not living up to it yeah but that that presupposes that there's something out there that set this experiment up and uh, well I'm they, not they, sure they, I believe there's that a there's, thing, there's a thing called nature yeah. And there's a thing called evolution, and there are all these other things, and they could be all part of that, you know. Oh, well, yeah. Probably. I mean, that the seed was planted here to see mm -hmm. what would happen. And maybe we're meant to po populate the, the stars. That could right. well be our job here. 
And that but, might be Elon Musk's uh, mission to, to get us to another planet. But that I, that I, but I don't know, you know, yeah. and I'm not sure of that, and I'm never going to find out. Well, you, you, know. you don't know. You're not going to you know? find out. Uh, you, you know, old Elon, he just may say, hey, it's time. We're going to Mars. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. We've, we've put uh, rovers on the planet. Uh, on Mars. Like, I may not live past next uh, Tuesday because I'm going back to my urologist. Oh. For my, uh, for my. What do you expect? Uh, oh, I, they give me, they, you know, does all the testing and everything, you know. It's, uh, yeah. He told me come back after nine months and he'll do another, uh, another PSA. They, my, my other doctor, the one that did the seeds, told me, he said, if you've gone this long without it coming back, it's not coming back. You know, yeah, well, so. that, that's good. Not, well, knock yeah. on wood. Knock on wood. Uh, I always hate getting those PSA tests. It always has been wow. a, yeah. Well, uh, when they when it came back detectable, because mm -hmm. I don't have a prostate, that's when they put me through seven more weeks of radiation. But yeah. uh, there's other things they can do. Even if it comes back, they can give you hormone. Yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, and, by by uh, the way, by the way, uh, you know how they make a hormone? Uh, don't pay her. That's right. You got it. That's the joke. <laughs> Bada boom. So, uh, anyway, uh, your friend, uh, uh, Pence and Trump and Biden, uh, are, are getting, uh, these, uh, document things. And, and well, let, 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 let's be a little more, uh, put this all in perspective. Okay. Uh, the you have to separate out Trump's situation because three right. three hundred documents, twenty five of which were a top secret, is and then the fact that he wouldn't let them just come and get them, they had to. But that that's not that's not where I'm going with this. Well, wait a minute, let me finish. Okay, I'm finish. Uh -huh. and to in any way put lump him in with these other two guys. Who may have just, you know, the his staff packed up his stuff and the stu this stuff was in there, you know, uh, uh, well, is different. You know, and the fact that they immediately turned the stuff over as soon as well, they found they, they saw what there. they did to Trump. But uh, you know, the, what happens is maybe Trump, just because he's kind of an asshole, uh, and uh, wait, you wait, know, wait, the wait, documents. Wait, 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 wait. You're you're even giving us the possibility that he's kind of an asshole. Kind of. Yeah, so yeah. what 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 right. happens is this is step they, forward for you, Phil. Anyway, go okay. Ahead. There is uh, there is. Let's say we take these three guys, and mm -hmm. all three of them moved out of either uh, uh, Washington. Somebody packed up their stuff. Uh, the stuff arrives. Uh, Trump uh, and Pence and Biden. Chances are they didn't know that these things were mixed in with I think other. Boxes. Trump knew what he was taking. Look, uh, let's take uh, because when granted. you take top secret documents, as many as he did, I I bet you a dollar to a donut he was planning on selling those if he could. Well, you, you know, I, I'm not going to tell you that I know for a fact that the stuff that was in Biden's garage had had price tags on it for the garage sale. Yeah, right. But right. <laughs> but but so what I'm what I was getting around to was my thought was. What is wrong with the system that packs these guys up and gets them out of there? Forget Trump. Maybe just Pence and Biden, if you're willing to believe that there was no nefarious... Uh, I don't uh, think there was anything nefarious about Biden. I think there was far less nefarious about Pence. About, I, th I think, I think, about Pe Pence. I think Pence is an honest guy. I may not yeah, like yeah. him, but he's an honest guy. E even Trump said, hey, leave the guy alone. He didn't do anything. He's a good guy. Yeah, I, uh, I think that what, what happened here is that in the midst of just getting everything out of the White House... These things got packed in with the stuff that went to Delaware, for instance. I, I, I have uh, heard at one time that when, uh, they were talking about the transition from one president to another mm -hmm. and how many hours it takes them just to pack everything up, get them out, get the new carpets in, make the changes that they while, want. While they're doing the inauguration. Right, exactly. They're changing, it's a few the, cur hours. They're changing, changing the curtains, the rugs, the furniture, right, right, everything. Right. It's, 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 it's a few hours. Now, what happens is it, it's, it's crazy. And now we're looking at three people that have had an issue 
with documents uh, uh, that probably... Well, they, what they're doing is they're, the, uh, Obama and Clinton and Bush have all said, come they look at the my... They had the same problem. No come, no, come look at my place and see if you find anything. Well, uh, I, I was... I heard a report that Obama had some things stored in a, uh, an old furniture store for a while, that uh, uh, Clinton had uh, some stuff in his sock drawer, uh, tapes... Uh, then there was um, well, tapes aren't uh, top yeah, secret. Well, uh, these They're are things that were they wanted back, and uh, on, and Bush also had some issue with uh, things that were stored. Yeah, but they probably as soon as they found that they had them and they mm -hmm. asked for them, they turned them over. Not necessarily, but it, it, well, it did eventually they get turned did. over. You know, the problem so, the problem with Trump was he he refused to turn them over. But I, I'm looking at the bigger picture, and what I'm, I'm saying I'm looking is, at the I bigger think, picture. I think there's a problem with the process. The, well, the, I think the process. Yeah, there's something of, they, yeah. of changing the the guard, so to speak. I think there's a problem with the process, and and that's what has to be looked at. Well, I think I think I think future. every future president, especially like Biden this time, if it, when he's no longer president and he has to leave, is going to make sure that none of those classified documents come with him. Or he'll and, declassify and the them people, before he's And speaking. the people, no, he doesn't, he can't declassify them. Um, I was under the impression no. that the president no. can declassify anything. No. Now, uh, so the ones that Trump took... According to Josh, who knows this kind of stuff, yeah. he says it's not that easy. You can't just wave your hand and go, I, this top secret document is... Uh, you know, everything in the room. Yeah, right. Well, uh, do you think that Trump knows who killed Kennedy? And uh, and those are some of the docs that he took? No, no. Uh, These were documents that were, were generated during his time in office. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, oh, and he felt that they were his to take? I think, I, to be honest with you, Phil, you know, and I believe this with all my heart and soul, even though I, you know, and I admit that I don't like the guy, I think Trump was planning on selling them. <laughs> I really do. I think Trump was thinking he could get some kind of favors for these, especially the top secret documents. Well, the, you know, and he was very thing... cozy. He was very cozy with the Russians. There's no question about that. And uh, I'm sure well, he was thinking, hey, maybe I can sell this stuff. The you know? only thing that gives me pause is that early on in his administration, in Trump's administration, he shared some information, some intelligence with the Russians uh, to, uh, to help which, them. Which I he wasn't was, supposed to. Which he wasn't no, he, and he wasn't to. supposed to. Yeah. So, uh, you know, that, that gave me pause. Yeah. But uh, I, I, don't, I don't believe that he, I believe he's a patriot. And that oh, I don't he, think he's a patriot he at all. Do I don't think he's a patriot at all. Yeah. I think he has no sense of loyalty to this country. Otherwise, he wouldn't have tried to to, to literally have an insurrection. Well, you know, there's you, you uh, know that's not loving your country. I don't I don't think that's he had not, an insurrection. I think other people did, but I don't think he was the cause of it. Well, I'd say he had a massive insurrection, but I hear he has a small penis <laughs> and uh, <laughs> he doesn't have a Porsche. Uh, but, um, okay, uh, you know, uh, one of the last and final topics on Porsche. a lighter sense. Well, what's the joke about Porsche? I think it's a Corvette that Biden owns. Oh, no, that's Biden, but usually guys with small penises oh, buy Oh, Porsche. about Porsches, okay. Right. right. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, anyway, you know, I, I posted something on Facebook. I, uh, I got a uh, opportunity to meet uh, Peyton Manning uh, last week in, uh, in Phoenix. Mm-hmm. And so they took my picture, you know, the meet and greet. And, uh, and so I posted it on Facebook. Why, was he paid to go to the rug convention? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> An interesting guy, and he, he's uh, involved with uh, some of the charities that, uh, that we support, like Tunnel the Towers. Mm -hmm. And uh, so an anyway, I had a nice conversation uh, with uh, some people I know, and then, uh, you know, I got to meet him. Mm -hmm. uh, because of my work with that. And uh, so uh, I posted it there on Facebook, and people, uh, several people put these emojis, some of them a thumbs up. Well, I understand what thumbs up is. 
Some of them is a happy face. I understand what a happy face is, right? Some of them have this weird little red line uh, and with, with like, like a tongue sticking out or something. What is that? That means uh, death or something. I don't know. No, that sounds I don't, like a no. dead emoji to me. Well, it might be, but uh, no, you know, I know the hearts, but I, there are several of these emojis. I have no idea what they mean. Uh, and, you know, is there some sort of translation to emojis to, to you know, to no, figure out what I they are? I don't think so. I don't think yeah, so. Yeah, well, yeah, some, some of these, you know, it's like maybe it's a sarcastic emoji or, uh, uh, you know. Yeah, let me see. Or, Hold on a second. Oh, Hold and uh, there was one other thing. You had read mm -hmm. a post that somebody put on your Facebook page about me. And the only yeah. thing I have to say is that the smallest dog has the loudest bark what is that supposed to mean you know like a little chihuahua dog they're the loudest they bark the loudest well this guy barks on your page mm -hmm. but he's the smallest dog you know mm -hmm. the smallest dog has the loudest bark well uh, hold on a second emojis how about this let's see here all right let's see Oh, uh, I'd have to look it on the uh, on the YouTube feed to see it. This is avatars. Let me see here. Here's a, is this an emoji? I don't know. Oh see. yeah, well no, that's a filter, isn't it? I don't know. What is this? This is, should go. Yeah, no, I, I don't. Uh, I don't see it. Oh, there it is. It showed up on the thing. Yeah, so that looks like well, I, I guess uh, you're Saint uh, Saint Bennett. Oh, <laughs> so now you're playing with the filters. What are you, Ray Renati? Yeah, what's up, Doc? <laughs> Very nice. Yeah, yeah that's funny. Very nice. There yeah, you go. You know, you got 42 people watching. What? 42. Really? They, really? They must be idiots. I don't know. Yeah. Mm. I have no idea why. Okay, well, enough of that. I hate that. <laughs> don't, do, don't do that, folks. No, uh, no I, I, thought that, there were, I thought there were some emojis there, but there weren't. Oh. So. No, those things are beyond my pay grade. I'll be on your pay grade. Okay. Oh, by the way, thank you for waiting around after the, uh, uh, I had to reboot my Zoom. I, I figured. It, it froze. Yeah. Yeah, I, I figured that that's usually what yeah, happens. I, I, you know, I, I, if I could figure out how to unfreeze it when it freezes, I would do it. But, you know. Yeah. Uh, let me see here. Should we let some people in here? Sure, I think it's that time. Is it that time? Okay, yeah. let me see here. Two minutes past the hour. First of all, let's do this. There we go, get rid of that. And then we will go to, let's see, Jeff Stein, Kevin, and Brian Neary. Okay. I figured it froze. Oops, oh, oh, they're there. Oh, there. Nope. There they are. Uh, I, in, uh, I, I, uh, if I uh, could... Jeff! Turn down your <laughs> turn down your uh, your uh, turn down your audio. Sure, I think yes. it's that time. <laughs> well, now we know what how much of a delay you have. Oh well, oh. he suddenly signed off there. Yeah, you know when Jeff comes over for lunch, mm -hmm. would you show him how to kill the browser and not the he, Zoom? He did, but they didn't come back here, so I couldn't. Oh, I couldn't give him. A, yeah. A, a, oh, did you go out for lunch? Yes, we not yeah, absolutely. Where'd you go? Well, up the street. There's a place called oh, Maison yeah. Harlem. That we, yeah, well, yeah. Tell, tell us about your uh, your wonderful lunch date, or you want Jeff to do that? It was nothing. It was what? It was lunch. Well, don't get personal about what I eat. Maybe well, we'll I don't pay. want to tell you. <laughs> anyway, hello, Brian. How are you? And hello to Kevin. Pinch nerve still. You still have a pinch nerve? You have yeah, a pinch nerve. It's getting a little better. You have a pinch nerve. He has a torn meniscus. You know. Yeah. This is wonderful. This well, is I, I saw a number of things on YouTube about torn meniscus, and they say you can PT it and 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 improve it. Although I don't want to stop going to the gym, so I think I'm going to injure it every three days a week and then well PT. i would stay away from using anything that has to do with your legs like uh you know i i've been deadlifting i just i just that, bought for that's home that's not good that's not good i, I got a seven foot olympic weight 45 pound barbell 
Good. That'll be good for your meniscus. Say yeah, goodbye it's in the to middle your of my meniscus room forever. With some, with some bumper weights, you know, mm-hmm. rubber, the, the weights you can drop, but I can't do that here. I'm on the third floor. Well, what I would do is I wouldn't, uh, I really wouldn't do any of that. Yeah, I'm yeah. going to be careful with squats. Yeah, but what are we going to do about what are we going to do about our friend here, uh, Brian, who's got a got a pinched nerve? I well, mean, you should see a chiropractor. No, no, okay. no. chiropractor, uh, physical therapy, acupuncture. Uh, I, I have a list. Yeah, well, well, to begin with, completely scratch off chiropractor, okay? (laughs) Chiropractors. Your your wife Marjorie seems to think that she has wasted hundreds of thousands of dollars over the year on chiropractors. Me too. Just need ice. Ice is good too. I, well, ice is good. That's one thing. The meniscus. I what I found was the best. I found this stuff. Voltaren. Yeah, it really yeah. helped. Really helped. Uh, I'm going to get some. You know, and if it started to hurt, I just put the Voltaren on it, and it helped. Doesn't help my arthritis, although it says uh, arthritis pain, but uh, you know, it doesn't help with the arthritis uh, as much as. What's it the has. nerve that goes down through the leg that you had sciatic? Sciatic. sciatic. Uh, yeah. uh, do you still, Alex, have that issue? I never had sciatic nerve problem. Yeah. 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 You know, you're right. Yes, you did. yeah. <laughs> no, I didn't. Uh, have, I you didn't. just don't remember. No, I didn't. I don't I think. I remember your leg. My yeah. aunt had it. I was bad. What? My aunt who died, she had that. My aunt friend. Would she die from a torn? Oh, she died from a torn meniscus. The one you made me cry. She had the sciatica. When that that thing bled up, she had a hard time walking. I remember that. Sciatica, yeah. Sciatica can be pretty terrible. Yeah, when she had it bad, she got and she just stay in her room. I mean, most times it's pretty minor. What? What'd you say, Kevin? I said ice works for that too. I used to have that from truck driving. The neck and the and the sciatica was hell. For driving a truck because you're always bouncing down the road what uh, how bad wh- how bad was your you know, like you have a back condition leg condition whatever how much was that exacerbated by driving trucks all those years oh it didn't bother it at all from what really? that was that was that was a softball injury in my ankle oh really yeah and then it got exacerbated by a bad surgeries Hey, Kevin, can I ask him a question, Alex? When you drive, when me and my brother used to, when he, I don't drive, when we used to drive, I used to get uncomfortable in the car. Then I would, do you put a pillow in your back sometimes to give a cushion when you're going like oh, a long way? Right? No, my seat uh, had an air seat. It had an air cushion and you could push the, push a button and it would push, it would had a, it had a cushion in the oh, back. Oh, so you kind of like, even your neck in it. Cause I would imagine that's kind no, of. No, not, not in the neck. No, no, no but it's a high back seat. Oh, we, wow. we call them captain's chairs and it was a high back seat. And you could adjust the head. And then there was a, a a big balloon in the back of the seat. You can push up, you know, blow up the balloon in the in the seat and adjust your back so that you could have the right position. And it was an air seat. Rode on an air seat. Do you? Well, I thought I thought I had I thought I had I thought I had balloons on my on my on my seat in my car, and then I found out it was hemorrhoids. So yeah, yeah you get those too. Yeah, yeah. No, it was you know the it, the neck and the uh, the back take a beating in the truck, and I got it all the time. But I was you know they when I went to physical therapy they would take a Dixie cup, frozen Dixie cup, yeah. and come in, and they would melt it on my back until it was done. Oh, you know all, what he did all the way down until it was done, which was about twenty mm-hmm. minutes or so, and then they'd put the electrodes on it. You know, the electrical stimulation. And then they'd give me a map and say, okay, this is where you're walking. And you'd walk around the neighborhood you know, he, and come back he, he's, and say, okay, see you next week. You're right about the ice because when I did my, my torn meniscus, the last part of every thing that I did was they put an ice pack on my knee and then just let me, let me stay there for 15, 20 minutes. Because what happens when you, when you twist your neck like that, yeah. you usually have internal bleeding. And internal bleeding, you're tearing a muscle. And you get a little bit of internal bleeding. And if you put heat on it, you're going to exacerbate the the bleeding. Because yeah. your blood yeah. Yeah. And it starts getting coagulating in there. And it gets bigger. Mm-hmm. So it gets even worse. But if you put ice on it, it'll slow down the bleeding. And it slows down. Well, when I would come home, I would put ice packs on my knee. And yeah. I kept doing ice packs on my knee for quite a while. 
un until it, the it went away. Yeah, oh, for the inflammation. Yeah. yeah. Hello, yeah. hello, Jeff. Twenty minutes on, twenty minutes uh, off. Twenty minutes off. Now. Uh, yeah, you're fine. I don't hear any of our show in back of you. Um, uh, uh, we we had lunch yesterday. Very nice lunch. I. You put ice on well, it. No, no, there, you're, you're, you're oh, still dude. getting the hey, audio. Just Jeff? close your browser. Just close your browser. No, 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 no. Wait a minute. You guys don't understand the difference. There's, you're going to see two tabs at the top of your uh, uh, browser. One is going to say GabNet uh, or, or Zoom. One's going to say Zoom, and the other's going to say GabNet. The one that says GabNet, click on the little X, and it'll it'll get stop. rid of it. Then you get yeah. rid of the. Uh, you get rid of so the, you'll see two tabs across the one that the says gabnet not the one that says zoom the one that says gabnet right and you just click on the x and it makes it go away but it doesn't kill you from zoom yeah bill it, you're a great guy thank you yeah yeah that's fine. i hope it works <laughs> so we had a very nice lunch yesterday yeah I, we did i really like uh, having Lunch I asked with Alex Jeff where and, you guys went, and Pamela. And, uh, he wasn't giving it up. I said Maison Harlem. Yeah. Oh, the, yeah. What yeah. was that? The park? No. no. We went. It's up on 129th Street and yeah. Saint Nicholas. You know where that is? Uh, yeah, no. he's Santa Claus. We got him sitting over there in the corner of the no, Zoom. No, Saint screen. Nicholas. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So anyway, so we went up there and we had lunch and it was really nice lunch and I uh, you know yeah. I really I really enjoy Pamela she's a delight and uh, mm -hmm. it's just I I look forward to it when we do it like once every five years <clears throat> you know so uh, but I really look forward to it but you you're going down to Florida when are you going down to Florida yeah, as soon as I can we have a little uh, job that we're doing uh, in the bathroom. And, uh, oh, I did a job in the like, bathroom today. Yeah, well, yeah. it's the whole, the whole part of the house. But anyway, until they finish it, and everything was going to be done, but one of the guys who do the work mm -hmm. got sick. So we got to wait. So, all right. Wait until he feels better, I guess. Oh, it's okay. I mean, I would wait forever to go to florida but that's you you like, <laughs> you like it down there you know. where in florida uh, would you be going i like fort Lauderdale a little bit oh, more okay. yeah. 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 which is yeah. uh, I, I i whenever i've been to fort lauderdale which is right outside of miami you know yeah, half hour yeah uh, I, I, I've i've enjoyed fort lauderdale it's okay yeah we're going to be more north of, of uh, yeah of the Fort Lauderdale yeah. city, so yeah. So uh, anyway, you know, you got a lot of uh, shootings out your way, by the way, Phil. Yeah, you know that was uh, one of one of my topics. Uh, now, some guy on mushrooms shot up uh, his place of employment down in uh, Half Moon Bay. How do you know he was on mushrooms? That that was the name of the place. It was a mushroom farm. Oh, it was a mushroom farm. Oh, he wasn't. <laughs> and uh, you know, and and the other guy, he didn't like the dance studio. He wanted his money back, I guess. I think his wife was banging the dance instructor. You know, none of these things are funny, Phil, because those two incidents are really quite pathetic and terrible. Yeah, but they I both happened died. on the Lunar New Year. Uh, you know, everybody's yelling "Gung Hei Fa Choi." Lunar New. They were Year. both elderly Asian men. Yeah. Right. And, Which is uh, strange. And well, and, I, I like the fact they're holding up the uh, the end. Uh, they're holding up for for age people with age. Now we can be suspected of you know. Yeah. You hear what happened at the Walmart though? There was a, a a Walmart. I I think it was out in the valley. I'm I'm not exactly sure where it was, but it was a former employee. And instead of saying you know thank you for coming to Walmart, uh, you know he said up against the wall. <laughs> yeah. And, um, uh, but uh, it, the the son. How, how is he making second, jokes out of this stuff? Uh, the, the it's, son they're the not. They're purely dance not funny. Wait, 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 wait a minute. The, the the son of the owner of the second dance studio. I guess the the shooter for, uh, who went into the first dance studio. Mm -hmm. uh, the son saw his gun and tackled him. Yeah, we, we uh, we've we've seen that hero. on TV over and over and over and over. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. 
And, there, you know, there was one other shooting that I think it took place in Texas. There was a guy in a taqueria, and, he, and he's sitting there, and some, some dude comes in with a plastic gun, but he didn't know it was a plastic gun, and he started robbing everybody in the taqueria. And uh, so as he walked by this one concealed carry uh, uh, shooter uh, guy, uh, the this guy story, by the way, was gun. several weeks ago, but go ahead, Phil. Yeah, he pulls out his gun, well, yeah, and, and, he, and he shoots the guy four times. Then the guy goes down to the floor, he shoots him four more times, then he walks up to the guy, and he shoots him in the head. The cop said, eh, it was self-defense. I said to somebody on Facebook, uh, another cop, I said, if that happened in California, uh, that guy would... They, well, look, 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 if he shot him that many times, and I don't think the story was that he shot him that many times because the story yeah, yeah, nine times. Story's a couple of weeks old. Right. Uh, and uh, uh, it, he I think it was overkill. All right. Yeah. If, you, if, <laughs> if he shot him and he was injured and he was down on the floor, then you don't shoot him again yeah, and, if he's and no again and again. Yeah, exactly. Right. So once he's incapacitated. Geez. Yeah. So and anyway, this this patron left the taqueria, and I think the cops were looking for him for a long time. I'm not sure if he turned himself in, uh, but uh, I don't think they were going to prosecute him. Now that's Texas. You 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 know you think if that was California, even if he exposed his weapon, do, do you do you know the arrested. story, don't you, um, um, Charlie? Charlie? No, I've never heard this. So, yeah, okay. Uh, it was I was in Houston. I don't know where it happened. I, yeah, I remember, was, but that was a couple of weeks ago, so I don't remember it. Yeah. Now. And well, it was it, just one it was shooting. shooting. It was one shooting. It doesn't make, shouldn't make the news that much. Well, you know, we, I, we're, we're so jaded now. That, see, in, the, in Houston, when I worked there, uh, I, um, I said uh, to my news guy, I said, there was a shooting out near me, blah, 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 in a bar or something that I heard about. In the neighborhood, I said, "Why didn't we report it?" He says, "Oh, a single shooting. We don't report anymore." He said, "This town is so. I mean, literally on a Saturday night, there were dozens of homicides because it's, uh, Texas is a um, open carry. Open carry. You can yeah. actually. Everybody was wearing guns on a holster." You know, they'd go into a bar, they'd all get smart. drunk, and they'd start shooting at each other. Well, I don't think open carry is smart. I like the idea that people are vetted and they're trained uh, when they get a concealed weapons permit. Yeah, but, and, but that's uh, not the way they feel in Texas. Well, actually, I'm... I'm they had a very, they they had a very stupid law there that it was yeah, against... Arizona has the same thing. That it was against the law uh, to... Uh, you could take a gun and take it from one location to another, but you couldn't just carry it in a car. Well... You can only take it from one location to another. So anytime you've got in the car, where are you going? From one location to another. <laughs> and that's how, no, uh, 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 Charlie, you know what I'm talking about, right? Yeah, but that law was overridden by the new law where there's no restrictions at all on guns. You can walk in the store, buy a gun right now. You know, there's no waiting period. There's no background check. No nothing in Texas. I don't, I don't. A hundred percent sure that's correct. I am. I live in fucking Texas. I know. Have you? Why? Have you ever <clears throat> gone into a gun store and try to get one? That was just passed like a year ago. That's how I know that. The last legislative session they did that. It completely I know did that away some with all that... back. It's completely free, open carry. Anybody can carry a gun at any. You don't even have to be an adult. There was an eighteen-year-old. Uh, I don't. I don't think you're right. Well, uh, you, you're saying you don't think he's right. He lives in Texas. He may live in Texas, but he's not as aware. Will of, somebody oh, else call oh. us from Texas? He's and, a very and, aware person. I'll, I'll just drink ahead. I'll just drink. Now. Yeah, drink ahead of time because uh, you're going to have to eventually anyway. The reason I know is I was pissed off when they did it. But, but remember, Phil's solution is give everybody a gun. That's give right. Give everybody a gun and bullets. That's his solution. Yeah. yeah. Well, at least one bullet. <laughs> I mean, it's, I'm not saying you're crazy, Phil, but to give everybody a gun, I don't well, know if everybody, anybody who, I know, I would want to have a gun. Yeah, yeah, well, not everybody. I mean, there are some people that aren't 
No, Phil. <laughs> Phil, we just have these shootings. And when I commented about the shootings, you just, all your comment is that the other people didn't have guns. So you told me there's those migrant workers who are out on the farm, they're supposed to be loaded in case one of their friends go crazy, they can shoot them. Well, no, uh, they that's have what to be, you, that's they what have to be in to imminent danger of no, bodily no. harm. But listen, no, will you, listen, will you, to will you listen to Brian, to please, the Phil? Solution. Go ahead. The solution was that everybody needs a gun, so if somebody goes crazy and starts shooting up the place like a migrant farm, I, then I, they well, have let, you let him me. finish, Phil. Yes, yes, when they're, when they they Phil, 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 don't interrupt him. Let him finish what he's saying. Go ahead. I'm Brian. done. Go, Go ahead, okay. Phil. Uh, he was putting words in my mouth that weren't true. Oh. <laughs> You're crazy. I, oh. I, I would never have thought of a migrant farm. It, it just wouldn't occur to me. Oh, to, okay. To, so to now you're going to have you would special arm these places. People. Only, only the places that you think that would have a gun. So, so migrant farms oh. won't have guns, but schools will. Yeah. What about libraries? How about what about the gas station? Wait, how about six-year-olds <laughs> who bring them to school don't, don't, and don't, shoot don't, their no, teachers? Six-year-olds bring them to school. They get reported, and then the parents don't do anything about it. Do you notice Marjorie? Yeah, that's, Marjorie that's keeps you know, Marjorie parents... keeps. Can I talk, Phil? Come on. All right. Yeah. Unless you want to take over the show, in which case I'm at, I could go to the next room and watch some TV. <laughs> I'm signing it off. Well, according to that uh, that that uh, miscreant that posts on your page, I do take over the show. Yes, you do. <laughs> anyway. So, um, um, where was I? Oh. Oh, you were uh, talking it was about, about the six-year-old. Six Oh, the six-year-old. Yeah, Marjorie keeps bringing it up, and I, I, she's actually right. But she says we have heard nothing about the parents. You know, well, I mean, where are? Why aren't they like they they fired the superintendent of the school today, and they're firing this person, and they're doing that and this, but nobody's gone after the parents. Well, you know that the 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 lady is suing now. The teacher yeah. is suing. Got a yeah, trial attorney. The teacher is suing because that kid was reported by another kid yes and no one did shit because it was getting towards the end of the day and everybody's going home anyway so the kid is told to report you know you see something say something they go to the parent the the school uh administration mm -hmm. and report it mm -hmm. and the school administration does nothing what what kind of shit is that yeah yeah, uh, 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 Brian. Happens. Brian. So Phil says there's another shooting at a gas station in Oakland. He is a common thread about these that were done the last 48 hours. All the victims were unarmed. So that means you mean that the people, the migrant farmers, should have been armed. Those 70 year olds. I don't know what you're talking about. The, hey, the 70 year olds dancing at Monterey Park on on uh, the eve of uh, Lunar New Year. They should have been packing too. Right. So when they that tango, I agree. you just got to make sure when they grab and tango, they make sure they don't hit their gun by accident. Yeah, well, I agree. Uh, also, 100%. Uh, uh, you agree 100%. You know how Good stupid holsters that is. are important. You, you know something? The idea of everybody having a gun really could easily start uh, kill more people just by people suddenly starting to shoot because somebody shoots. Well, I, okay. I lived in Florida before uh, they had the CCWs and uh, in the early 70s. And Do you notice the the that once, Charlie's had his finger up for the oh, last couple of minutes here, waiting okay. to talk? No, he doesn't notice it. No, he doesn't notice it. Yes, Charlie. Google, does Texas have a waiting period for gun law, for, to purchase a gun? It says... Texas does not have a waiting period, nor does it register firearms. All you have to do is show a government-issued ID, such as a driver's license. You must be at least 18 years of old. Of There's age. no background check? No. Nothing. They made it. Now, I, I heard this guy, Kalyan Noir. Uh, I think uh, Alex is uh, familiar with the guy. And he lives in Texas, and he had... He, he was talking about the fact that there are background checks, that there are uh, uh, documents that have to be filled out. And 
Uh, well, you just heard the opposite. Ca- Caleon Noir it, it, You're pronouncing his a, name a wrong, but I... NRA? Com, com, uh, no, NRA? Yeah. Do you Are you talking about the actor? on that NRA TV. NRA TV? Yeah, along with uh, Dana Loesch. There's no NRA TV anymore. There used to be, and now he's... been dead for years now. Well, he's still a spokesperson uh, for... Camille, uh, no, are you talking about the actor? No, Colleen Noir. He's he's an attorney, a black guy, Uh, uh, really well-spoken. Back there, uh, and uh, uh yeah, and uh, he um, and it was a Shonda for the white a, people, yeah. He was a con- <laughs> he was a content content provider for NRA TV. I didn't even know they had a channel. <laughs> yeah, did you well, ever watch that anymore. channel? There was they no, co- there was no content. <laughs> yeah, uh, you I was sad when I they took it off because it was hilarious to watch. Dana Loesch. Yeah, there was some some hot chick that was on that too. Well, she used to be hot. Oh. now she just looks like certain parts of her body smell. Anyway, uh, uh, Charlie, I, I was wrong. They do something called a national instant criminal background check. Oh. They do it instantaneously when you walk in. You literally can walk in, buy a gun, and walk out five minutes later with a gun. But they well, do. you don't have a criminal record, though, right? That's I if, if I if I can find the thing that Colian <laughs> Noir uh, was talking oh, yeah. about, I'll send it to you, Charles. Yes, send it to all of us. Yeah, because Please. he worked for he, he, he worked for the NRA. Ones. Yeah, I believe him. Yeah, I believe Wait, him. Uh, sorry, guys, I, I need to go. Texas have a way. Wait a minute, you ha- you have to go. Where are you going? Why are you going? What? Go what? register your guns. Uh, what's your therapy? Oh, uh, hey. acupuncture. Oh, yeah. Okay. I, I promise. I promise Adrian I'd draw with her tonight, so I'm, I'm going to go draw with her right now. So. You can do an open yeah. carry. Can I ask you one thing, Brian, before you leave? Do you Maybe. think that your back pain could be caused by driving back and forth a couple hours every day to? Load no, up? it's it's my neck, but that no, I know what this was. This was this was because some pills were taken away from me, so I was trying to adjust to a different pill. But yeah. but uh, lately, last couple of days that I've been driving, I have been hurting a little bit in the back. Yeah, so yeah. It, it has been oh, first time it's starting to affect me a little yeah. bit. Maybe because of this too, but. Yeah. Thanks well, for caring. Feel about better. Okay. Well, better. have a good time. Yeah. And my best to Adrian. Okay. Okay. Right. Hey, don't talk. Don't talk any shit. I'm listening later. Okay. Bye. <laughs> okay. <laughs> listen. Listen. He is just the biggest creep. I just hate it when he calls. Who's uh, that? Brian. <laughs> Brian. Said, oh yeah. Oh, He's so <laughs> hard to take. He won't shut up. <laughs> you know. He just keeps yeah. Yang, 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 yang. Not unlike Phil. Man, that little kid unlike Phil, where everything that comes out of his mouth is just absolute yeah. an absolute gem. What, what what about the kid he parades around for sympathy? <laughs> you know? Yeah. Yeah. Hey, look at this kid. I just borrowed her. Yeah. <laughs> well, somebody has to call and replace uh, Brian, okay? Give yeah. give us a call quickly. Okay. Yeah, actually somebody to call. You still got forty one watching. I wonder who's watching. I've got yeah. 41 watching. Boy, it, went da- it went down a bit when you started talking. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. This is a critical day. Yeah. So anyway. How is that? Yeah. So, oh, here comes Alan. Where's oh. Yeah, where's Alan been tonight? Like, yeah. I, like I care. Well, uh, anyway, what? Uh, let me see. Should we tell him mother. that we were all talking about him? Alan, where have you been? Uh, well, I uh, had a flat tire today, and mm. I bought a new set of tires, and because they were getting low, and uh, got a bite to eat, and now I got to go take my mother a bite to eat, but not until I'm not going to leave until nine. So this is the guy with ten ply tires. Oh, yeah, absolutely. He does because that's what came on the vehicle. Well, wait, a minute, like wait, wait a minute. Hold like on a second. Let me like ask you. you. How, how much did it cost you to replace four tires? Uh, fourteen hundred dollars. What? Well, they're they're big. They're truck tires. They're they're oh, band okay. tires. Oh, all right. And they're and they're Michelin. I don't buy cheap tires like Phil. You know. I got Toyos. Oh, that's that's what I mean. AT countries. They were nice. Yeah. And they mine are cool. actually mine are actually made in Canada. Yeah. Yeah, uh, not made in who knows where when you buy a Toyo. Yeah. Toyo, Toyota, I get it, I get it, yeah. 
Yeah, but anyway, so but I, 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 I haven't had a car so long. I don't know how much these things cost. I don't even know how much That's cars true. cost now. Too much. Yeah, like for 70 five. grand. Well, I was watching Average. a thing. I was watching a thing last night on YouTube about some of the the electric cars that are out there. And actually, with the government uh, subsidy you get, there's mm -hmm. one you can actually get for twenty two thousand dollars now. Oh, the Mustang? No, it's uh, I can't remember the name of it now. There's a Toyota truck that's uh, but, around that price. But they're, they're not that expensive compared to you know. I mean, uh, they're, 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 there's one car. It's like a sports car, electric sports car. It's like two hundred fifty thousand dollars. But you know. the Lucid? No, the Lucid is a. Uh, it's just made. Dollar. It's made by some major automobile company. The Did Lucid. I miss anything important? Like uh... and, oh, uh, Alan, do you know any of the gun laws in Texas? Oh, jeez, Almighty! I you... read them to you off of the, the screen. What is actually? I just I had dinner with a friend that's out here visiting from Texas. So yeah, I know a little bit about. Well, you, you probably know. Yeah. That. Now Charlie Let's said talk about something else. Char uh, Charlie <laughs> said that they require just Insta checks, but anybody with a government ID and gets an Insta check can walk in and buy a gun. Years, at least eighteen years of age. That's correct. You can walk in and walk out five minutes later with a gun. Okay, the same 18-year-old that can go fight for our country. He's so, not going to uh, uh, fight. He doesn't have to. It's There's no so, draft. Yeah, but, I mean, if he can be, if he can serve in the military, I think that he deserves or she deserves the right to keep him bare arms. Yeah, a lot of these uh, mass shooters, especially at schools, they're not 18-year-olds. No, they're they're younger than that, and they're on drugs. And the school system doesn't bother. Uh, uh, the left hand doesn't tell the right hand what's going on. And when they have a kid with problems, they uh, they ignore it because uh, you know they're afraid of violating. You were just right told that you were wrong, Phil. So apologize to Charlie. Uh, I, I'm not sure I was wrong, but I, I've always apologized to Charlie. I think Charlie... Let, let's hear it. Oh, now I'm hey, frozen. Hey, Charlie. Now uh, I'm frozen. Let me just see. Yeah. What, oh, yeah. You're frozen? If I can well, fix this. Because you're waiting for the apology to warm you up. <laughs> let me see here. Uh, <laughs> stop video. Okay. Let me see here. And then let me start the video again. Start video. And does it come back? No. Uh, no, I'm completely gone now. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I can hear you. Yeah, yeah I know you can hear me. You can't do that with Phil. Huh? He <laughs> can. He just hasn't sure. told you yet. Yeah, uh, but I'm uh, trying to, uh, let me see here. Let me go here. I'll figure out something. Just you guys talk to each other. Uh, so, I, so, you know what? Well, you know, first it was Trump. Then it was Biden. Mm -hmm. Now it's Pence for illegal documents. So I guess the mm -hmm. Democrats are winning because there's only one and two of, of the, <laughs> the Republicans. Now, did you hear that they did a, uh, a poll and they said that if the election was held today, mm -hmm. that Trump would win by 4% over <laughs> Biden? Yeah, I saw that poll. That may be an outlier, though. Yeah. yeah. Uh, <laughs> And there he was, and he had quite a lead over DeSantis. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, bigly, like 30 points. Really. Yeah, I, so I, I'm wondering whether they're putting out these polls to make people think that Trump could win and maybe he doesn't have a chance of winning. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. uh, they're spreading mm -hmm. fake news. I think, they, I think they ought to put out a poll if Bill's going to take a shit tomorrow or not. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to take the over on it. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> well, anyway, I, 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 you know, if the poll was the other way around, you'd be unhappy, Phil. So. <laughs> no, no, I, I just had a feeling that maybe the poll was was trying to get people to falsely uh, uh, support Trump. I, I don't think Trump's mm -hmm. going to run. Uh, I don't think he's going to win, and I don't think he's going to, uh, you know, get the nomination. We mm -hmm. all believe what Phil says, don't we? Uh -huh. Yeah. Let me see. I, don't know. I mean, it's, it's kind of soon now. I mean, your green screen's not working. I know my uh, green screen's. Uh, I look at it, now that one's frozen. frozen again. Yeah, I'm frozen again. Hmm. Oh, that's amazing. I don't know what it is. I, I think we should all give uh, 
Trump some money though. You know, he's uh, Russian, Russian money is cheap right now. That's right. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Good idea. <laughs> well, we can all join Mar a Lago. You mm -hmm. think we can just pool our membership money together, the 250000 and, you know, you take a week, you take a week. Jeff's going down, you know, he said he's just going up above Fort Lauderdale. Mm -hmm. So that means Mar-a-Lago. Uh, so say hi to Donald for me. Yeah. The last time I was down here, my friend drove right by his house. Yeah. Wow. And we it all... Didn't, uh, didn't open fire, I imagine. We all gave him the old, you know what. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Oh, this Alex, time when you drive by, by, you can you can you can moon them. You can pull your pants down and show them. Hey, <laughs> if, if you pulled your pants down, Alan, it would be another planet that uh, that they would think was flying by. Mm-hmm. There we go. Okay. Alan, <laughs> Alan's tush is bigger than Jupiter. <laughs> you're back. Yeah, but. Hey man, well, it's it, it must suck when you're when you're 50 pounds lighter than somebody to be picking on them when you weigh 100 pounds more than you should, you know. And you're always no. I only weigh 20 pounds more than I should. How much do you weigh? According now? to according to the I'm, uh, I was 192 this morning. There we go. There we go, folks. He's Ta -da. A 14 dollar uh -huh. scale though. <laughs> yeah, my. Were your shoes on? No, no, you have to. No, no, it was uh, after I took a crap. <laughs> With nothing that? That's the best time to weigh yourself. Yeah. Okay, what have we been talking about here? Him and his weight? Oh, yeah. 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 And, and, and the people did. people ask me what Phil looks like thin, and I say fat. Yeah. <laughs> when uh, uh, it, I, I was, do you know how up. tired we are of hearing about your diet? Uh, He's fasting now. No, I have no I idea. I called him up in the afternoon. He was. <laughs> That sounded like a meatball hero, Phil. You were really scoffing that pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, you must be. He, well, well that's what they used to call him at the police department, a meatball hero. Yeah. <laughs> I, 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 I only eat uh, really? uh, during a six-hour time period. When, when, he, when he was a rent-a-cop, he, he, he had a pot belly pig, and they couldn't figure out which one weighed more. Actually, yeah. I had a 34-inch waist. <laughs> Wow. 19, what, 62? <laughs> it looks like Kevin is saying to himself, what the fuck is going on here? Oh, yeah. Let me get to now, let's talk about something interesting. Yeah. Uh, what else is there out there that's interesting to talk about? I had Does anybody funny. know what these emojis stand for? Oh, Jesus. <laughs> to that again? I still think the Niners are going to win the Super Bowl. You think they're going to get there, Charlie? Yeah. I'm worried, boy. I think Philly's offensive line is. Look, they got three old pros there. Who, who do you think it's going to be? Is it going to be the uh, the uh, 49ers and who? The Bengals. The Bengals. Oh, yeah. oh that'll make uh, that'll make uh, a Josh really happy. Yeah. Do your fearless forecast. Oh, I had something funny to tell you, Alex. It happened to me. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, that's that's a first for us. Yeah, really. Yeah, this, I went to my regular doctor, the MD. Right, because he's just got to see me for a regular checkup. What's just the to, other one? Do voodoo? Right, so listen to this. He goes like this. He did my blood pressure. Oh, everything's perfect. Heart's perfect. He says, you look great. I says, Doc, I just had six weeks of radiation. <laughs> glow in the dark. Well, that's what the glowing complexion is about. Oh, right. <laughs> you, you look good, Tony. I was all right. I just really... You know, you, you ever hear... Now, does he but get the information? The hold on, hold on a second, Phil. Does he get the information from your other doctor since he's yeah, your he got primary? everything. I asked him that they yeah. forward everything over to him, so he had it. He said, "Yeah, you got nothing to worry about." He's all right. Did he call you by your correct name? He said, oh, "Yeah, you look good." Yeah. How's everything? Where did he go to medical school? Mom is still gone. <laughs> I said, hey, yeah. You ever see those guys? They they go to the doctor. The doctor gives them a clean bill of health, and the next day, <laughs> heart attack and die. Yeah, I think he's putting a kibosh on me. I'm very superstitious now, like my mother was. You're right. When they do that, I believe, like, you know, yeah. You're right. Next thing you're going to get hit by a car when you leave. <laughs> he probably never even looked at your file. No, he was doing my blood pressure was perfect. My heart, everything he was doing. He's like, you, you know, low grade cancer. You'll be all right. He looked at your you Oscar. He did the EKG and stuff and was making me breathe. He's like, he said, can you work out? I says, a little bit. I says, I just went back to the gym. Good. Keep it up. I went about a month. 
I mean, really, let me just go home, I said. How do uh, don't, like don't start talking about I like it. I don't like don't when the doctors, I went to a doctor, and, and the thing is that every doctor yeah. has maybe 2,000 patients. Yeah. Oh, he was busy, Alex. I had to wait 40 yeah. minutes. Yeah, but I mean, 2,000, well, it wasn't, they've seen the other 2,000 patients, but oh, okay. how, you make an appointment, how long does it take to see him? My urologist took me about yeah. three weeks to see him. Okay, so they got like about 3,000 people. So when you walk in the door, it's surprising that he knows you. <coughs> and yeah, I yeah. think he doesn't. I really? think he looks at his, his thing, chart. At his chart, yeah, and it even in. has like my wife's name there and so on. So how's Marjorie? <laughs> Oh, geez, you know, How's Marjorie? That. You know, you should, yeah, um, <laughs> no, I, and I, I went to one doctor and he started looking at and repeating all the wrong stuff back to me. Oh, shit, that's not good. No, well, not. no, I mean, I realized that he oh, he, he, he had the wrong person, the wrong folder. Yeah. You go to see him one, you go to see him once a year. Yeah. What, what's going to happen? You know, he's not going to remember you. <clears throat> Marjorie thinks every doctor she has actually remembers her. I don't think so. Mm. I think she's deluding herself. They see, you're right. They see so many people. You yeah, I mean, and I don't blame them. If I go to my urologist, and he's very nice, and I like him a lot, but and I'm, he probably remembers me only because, you know, I had to go have all this stuff done on my prostate. So he'll probably remember somebody like that more than he'll remember somebody that comes in and, you know, just but, uh, sees them once a year, so he can stick his finger up their ass. <coughs> you know. I gotta tell you one thing, though, Alex. My my doc, my urologist, Doctor Ricciotti, Doctor Richie, he actually called my cell phone and asked me how I was doing when I was getting radiation. He actually was really on top of me because he works with the oncologist. They're like friends. Also, 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 he has Did a note. A, he has a note there <laughs> on his on his computer that says, "I cried in his office." Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, call Mister uh, Mister Tony. Call, yeah. uh, uh, call, to call Tony to see if he's okay, you know. And so then he calls you. Might be but, right, yeah. I mean, like today, Marjorie, you know, Marjorie gets a lot of stuff done. And today, the, she had the most ridiculous thing done. She had her nose reamed out or something. What is that? Well, like she, she her nose drips a lot. Oh, okay. So she went to a doctor who said, well, we can do a little procedure and go in there and do some scraping mm -hmm. and things like that. And she said it was very painful. She went in there and she did it. And I'm going, you know, why'd you do that? Just let your nose drip. What the hell? Do you care? You know? Yeah. Well, My nose does. drips. I don't care. But she, no, she went to it. And then he called and said, how's your nose doing later on mm -hmm. in the day? You know? Really yeah. what he was saying was, you're not going to sue me, are you? You know, I mean, your nose is okay, right? It's not going to be something that you're going to sue me about, right? So. Oh, God. I, I think uh, I get good memory from my doctors because they invested in so much for me. Yeah, but, you know. I, th I think they actually had like a gambling thing. Like, okay, we got Stein tomorrow. And yeah. I'll give you a two for one that he survives. <laughs> fine pool yeah yeah but you know I, so i don't think a doctors necessarily remember you that much i don't know i went to my old doctor for 32 years well that's, that's different that's different yeah. you know uh but uh i've got a, 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 a what do you call you know what happened with our doctor our um uh general gp who's also yeah. a cardiologist as well, which I kind of like because he checks out my heart a lot, you know, make sure it's okay, you know. You have one? What? <laughs> heart. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, uh, so uh, he he's a cardiologist, and he we, we've been going to him for a long time. So I think he, he knows me when I come in. You know, but I don't think he would know my name unless he had to look at the, you know, the thing. Uh, you know but, why Tony had to wait 40 minutes? Cause cause the can I finish my leave. story? Oh, all right. So what else is new? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Phil doesn't listen to the rest of the discussion. There are other people talking here, Phil. I want you to realize it that. It sounded like you were done. 
No, it wasn't <laughs> kidding. But now I forgot what I was going to say, so go ahead. You obviously had something far the more important. The said knows you. Yeah, he knows me. And, um, but I and he think, said it, but he may not know your name. But he may not know my name. Yeah. You know, uh, It's not the same as Marjorie's, who's been seeing him longer. But Marjorie likes to think all these doctors, absolutely, you know, they go home at night and think, I wonder how Marjorie's doing. You know, and I'm sorry, it's not that way. Uh, oh, I know, I, I know what my yesterday, yeah. and she was looking great. Yeah, how was I looking? Yeah, you're about the same. Anyway, <laughs> just like us. I'll tell you, everybody, everybody that uh, uh, sees me lately says I look healthy. You do. You know. You do. Uh, you do, you do. And in fact, I was I was talking to it. Uh, it'll be on tomorrow night. An interview with uh, Will Durst. And the first thing he said, boy, you're, you're looking terrific. But that's from a guy who had a stroke, okay? Yeah, so yeah. I don't know, compared to what, Will, <laughs> you know? Yeah, that's a good point. Yeah. <laughs> Where are you comparing me to that? So much for my so stroke nice. jokes. But anyway, the thing is that my doctor started this thing a few years ago. He invited us all to a gathering. Really? And there were cool. like a 1,000 people there. Hmm. And what it was that he was trying to sell us a concierge plan. Oh, God. Oh. You know what I'm talking about, Jeff? Yeah, a couple grand a year, you pay up front, and you get priority uh, visits and yeah. stuff. Yeah. I'm Did sorry. I, when I had a doctor, I always got a priority visit. If I said I was really sick, he wouldn't say, wait three weeks. I thought he was inviting you to lunch or something. That was the guy that still uses leech leeches? He uses <laughs> leeches, Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No, but I mean, I remember my first uh, uh, doctor yeah. would come to my house, to his house. Oh, house and sometimes he would even come to my house. Yeah, yeah. If I was sick. If I was sick, you could call, a doctor would make a house call. He yeah. all, they all had these little bags. Remember the little bags? I don't <laughs> think they right. own them anymore. You know what else they had in New York? MD license plates so they could double park. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, and not get towed. I don't think they get them, have them anymore. Because they're no. not making house calls. Yeah. They don't need that kind of... They don't of even work. have cars. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. They still need the MD license plates. I mean, it's... Uh, they don't have them. There aren't any in New York. Really? No. Yeah, I haven't seen no. them. No. I think it's because they, they figured, hey, they, they're, you know, they're not making house calls anymore. What do they need the MD license plates for? To but, double park. But I've never heard of it. The only doctor I've had in recent years who made house calls was a um Orner? a foot doctor an or orthopedic doctor Orner. and she made only house calls wow. because yeah. she said all her her patients were older because you yeah. really don't get foot problems till you're older and and she felt that if she made house calls she number one she'd save on having an office and that everybody she went to see would appreciate it and wouldn't want to come and see her, you know. Mm -hmm. So uh, that that was the. But most doctors today don't make house calls at all, you know. And uh, if you have the concierge a, a concierge service, he will make a house call. What but did he want for his service uh, to sign it's up? It's about twenty five hundred dollars a year. Yeah. And I'm going. They you know, money on me. And and what you what what'd you say, Charlie? They'd lose money on me. I have so many problems. <laughs> You'd lose money at that rate on me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Charlie said he took 16 pills. 14, yeah. 14, 14. pills every day. With my um, uh, supplements, uh, which don't really count. Well, don't, they do. don't count. They, they 19. Don't count. 19 really? What supplements? No, but forget the supplements. Well, I don't know which because ones to begin with. So I, will are, I will I will put some the optional. Supplements. I will question. They want supplements. I will question the use of supplements. I got zinc. I'll I got tell you why. I'll tell you I got D. No, but I got D. Forget it. A, a, a doctor I once talked to said all that gives you do all that really gives you is very expensive P. Yep. Yeah. I got turmeric. I, I got coke. You don't need any of that. <laughs> I haven't gotten I haven't gotten COVID either. You never got it. You know? I never got it. I've no. never had it yet. Yeah. Neither have I. I had it, but I didn't have it in any serious way. Marjorie came down mm. with it. Yeah. Yeah. 
but you know, I mean, we we got a minor version of it for a very simple reason that we, you know, is that the Paxlovid? Is the Paxlovid got... was what we, they gave us, you know, yeah. but. But it, it, you know, if you if you have the, the if you're up to date on your shots, I, I can't to think I'm like a pet I had, who had all his shots. <laughs> you know, yeah. I go, yeah, I've got all my shots, yeah, and I got distemper. The last one I got was distemper. Yeah, but uh, uh, you know, I mean, uh, I uh, um, I think that it's uh, you know, to, for a doctor to have a concierge service. I mean, what am I going in for? What am I made in my primary doctor for? But to be there for me when I need him, well, you know. You know, there's they get so little money after Medicare chisels down their bill. Let's say they send a bill for five hundred dollars. Medicare pays. Eight dollars and seventy-two cents. No, not so that's, that's not what like they that. need three thousand. It's patients. not like that, but it's 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 lower than the they overprice so they can at least get yeah. Medicare to give them a certain amount of money. But the fact is that uh, M Medicare uh, is only saying here's what that procedure is worth. You know, well, it's what they're willing to pay. No, it's what they I feel wonder... the procedure is worth, Phil. Yeah. Did, yeah. uh, Tony, did you get a bill yet to find out what your treatments were? Uh, uh, I had one inside. Let me see. Like, uh, don't go know. get it. Jeez <laughs> almighty. Thanks, remember. Phil. Thanks a lot. <laughs> oh, there you go. I don't want to let Phil do his own yeah. show. No. Alex, this one here. This one here, Alex. This was just for the the radiation treatments. Do you know every wait, wait, treatment? Hold, hold on a second. Wait, 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 wait. Wait. The radiation, the radiation total before insurance took care of it and everything it was about oh, totally want to know 60,000 yeah. uh just for the radiation treatments here the total was $17,879.43 really mine was 60,000 well i still have to I, that's not counting the uh the the other part that they billed me for already the uh where they had to put the uh spacer in mm -hmm. that was quite yeah i had to have at least 40 50 grand i got more bills inside yeah, but do you how, have how much was your tattoo, Tony? It faded a little bit. I would show you, but I don't want to be obscene on the show. Well, uh, uh, think It'll about look this. Like Phil's hairline, no problem. Think about this. Tony got thirty treatments for seventeen grand. Alex paid sixty grand for five what? treatments. So who got treatments. the better deal? I think. Well, I think I'm trying to remember how much total with the with the with seeds and everything came to about a hundred thousand bucks. Huh. Did that include your concierge service? But that was what he billed, what they billed. That isn't what they got. 80 okay. cents. <laughs> no, they got about 20,000 bucks. Wow. Yeah. You know, Medicare wouldn't be so screwed up if it wasn't for the Republicans constantly sticking their finger in the jar. Yep. What do you do, wake up in the morning and say, I'm going to be a jerk? Only when you're on the show. <laughs> no, you, you're... You're a jerk other nights, too. No, yeah. well, I mean, you know, the Republicans would like to do away with Social Security. They would like to yep. do away with Medicare. Yep. You That's know. what Schumer is saying. But I guess there's an independent Schumer? named no. King and there's a, a Republican that are saying they should look into it because with the new budget that they're trying to pass, they uh, they want to look at all of these costs that are getting out of control. Phil, looking, Phil, looking Phil at it, the government and, owes me. Yeah, Social Security, because I paid into it all yes, those years. Yes, they owe you Social Security, but at what rate? At what rate? I think at whatever rate is is you, you know there's a there's a purpose behind Social Security. Yeah, I'm sure you paid at the highest uh, percentage yeah. rate. Uh, I uh, yeah, I paid at a very high rate. Yeah. yeah, I mean, every year I paid off my Social Security, but I mean, it, 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 uh, it, it. I just, I just don't know why they're so mean that they don't want old people to get money to take care of themselves. Shut up, Phil. Let me finish, okay? <laughs> that they mm -hmm. get so, so upset with the fact that old people might get some money to live on, you know, and that they might actually have a medical plan that would take care of their medical needs because when you get old, that's when you need it. Yep. Yeah, well, you know, perfect. how can you be so cruel mm -hmm. as to not want to do that for people? They're talking about raising the cap. 
not necessarily cutting the benefit. No, they're so, talking about trying oh, to you, lower the amount. Uh, but they're also oh, saying no, the cap. About, the cap. There shouldn't even be a cap on Social Security. Right. No, you should keep putting. The, be, the, the reason there's a cap is that y you have. Uh, a certain amount, if the cap right now is somewhere around $10,000. After you paid $10,000 into Social Security, or paid it on uh, $10,000 uh, no, $10, uh, of no, your... It's, uh, it's 150 uh, Yeah, it's 150000 That you pay on an income, I believe. No, but it's a, it's a $10,000 cap in the amount of money that, uh, that is going to be paid back. It, it, the, oh. the point is that when you get to a certain point, when you get to the cap, you don't have to pay any more taxes the rest of the year. When I was making a crap load of money in San yeah, Francisco, I, uh, by, by, by m March, I had paid off all my Social Security. Okay. Well, between, well if they do away with that, yeah. that would even that'll that'll take care of it all. Well, yeah. between the employer and the employee, they pay 15%. Yep. Uh, of the uh, up to a certain amount of earnings, I, I forgot what it is. It, I think it's going to be one hundred and fifty-seven thousand. Uh, it goes so, up every it, year. Yeah. Yeah. So it's going to be fifteen okay. percent. Uh, uh, seven and a half employee, seven and a half employer, or self-employment tax is fifteen percent. I think so, it ought to be higher for the employer. <laughs> I think employers should pay the whole thing. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. Well, I mean, come on, they're the people that are getting the benefits out of this whole society. They should have to pay their way on it and take care of the people and, around and them. The people that work for the employer that just come in, work, and go home and don't have headaches and worry. Yeah, but, not, but they, 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 oh, they have sweat equity. Yeah. Yeah. They're, they're the ones that if they're not there, the guy doesn't have a business. Yeah. And if the yeah. business wasn't there, those guys don't have a job. They'd find another one somewhere else. You know, they're getting laid off from Goldman Sachs. They're getting laid off from Twitter. They're getting laid off from Google, uh, uh, Meta, and uh, Microsoft. It's Meta, and, and, it, and it's just. And this is only the beginning. Mm. Uh, they think they're going to have a job. They're not. You know, because the Republicans are pushing well, us into a recession. Well, screw them. We should have a tax on any business that lets people go. You know, they want. You well, know? that's what they have in Europe. And so, you know what they do? They don't hire anybody. You know, if in, in how France, do you have a Italy, how do you have a business if you don't hire people for in it? France and Italy? If you hire someone, you can't let them go. You can't fire them. Well, I think so, that I think so that they, quite frankly, I think it's terrible that people like uh, like um, um, Google and Amazon are firing people when they really should be firing the people at the very top. Yeah. Those guys are getting fired. Because the people at the bottom are the people who've just been going in every day and keeping this thing happening. Well, so uh, so you have a problem with Elon Musk getting rid of people that don't want to show up? And No, uh, we haven't heard about it. Uh, has Elon Musk let any people go? Oh, yeah. He's down to 2,500 people. Really? 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 Yeah. Well, then he should have to pay for that. Yeah. He should have and to they, pay for they, it. They, they're even selling the... And the uh, reason you should have to pay for it is because the, the government's then going to have to pay unemployment on that. Uh, the unemployment insurance is paid by the employer. Yeah. To, not, not 100%. 100%. No, I think you, in your yeah, check... Right you, now, it's like... In your withholding, point. there's something for unemployment. Uh, yeah. Well, there's, there's some SSI or Medicare and some other stuff, but they're a very small percentage. But the yeah. unemployment runs around... Six percent, and and in some cases more. Uh, for me, it's always yeah. the maximum. I don't know why, but uh, <clears throat> every job I've had, the employer paid all of the unemployment. Yeah, but it's only on a small amount. I think it's up to seven thousand in income or something like that. It's not. It, it, it like Alex was saying with the Social Security, that there's a cap, and the cap on unemployment is pretty low. Yeah. Anyway, and unemployment, you don't get much anyway. You get it maybe for... Oh, you get like $200 a, a week here. I got 400 a week for 16 weeks after working somewhere for, you know, yeah. 10 years. But, it, but the anyway. COVID times, people were getting thousands of dollars. He was getting, he was getting yeah. six minutes. And... Yeah, because that was special. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, and they were yeah. getting it for many, many months. Yeah, And that's okay. one of yeah. the reasons... No yeah, over a year. Yeah. That's terrible. God forbid the government should take care of us. The businesses anyway. were also getting money, so you're yeah. on your own. Oh, yeah. 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 Hey, there, there's like I know one that got sixty thousand here. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> yeah, uh, uh, and, and he isn't home complaining. Home. He isn't complaining about that payout. For anyway, I, I gotta. We gotta go. We've run right. out of time. Oh, yeah. that means shut up, Phil. I had such a good time. I know nobody <laughs> else did, but you did. Anyway, yeah. <laughs> that's it for tonight. Uh, I want to say goodbye to ja- uh, to Phil, and I want to say goodbye to Kevin, and I want to say thank Charlie. Thank you so much. Uh, uh, also, Tony. Good luck with that cancer. And uh, 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 Jeff, good having lunch with you yesterday. And and Alan, thank you for being here. Everybody wave goodbye, and I'll wave goodbye at you. Okay, there they go, folks. That's our citizen panel. Uh, Some of them are going to head over to be with Jack Bishop next over most of this same GabNet. Jack will be doing his program and taking your calls on Skype at GabNet Live. Okay, I'll see you again tomorrow. Same time, same station in life. In the meantime, if you see her, tell her I love her. Okay, good night, everybody.